vegan mac and cheese. Woo, I am scared because this is a new recipe. I've never tried it before, but the last recipe worked out so well and it was from the same person, Ella Vegan. So I was like, why not? You know, I want to try, I'm, I'm on a mission to find the best vegan mac and cheese because mac and cheese is my favorite food ever. But I need to veganize it because cheese makes me not feel so swell, you know? It's not a good time. So, instead, we're gonna go and we're gonna try this recipe and it's also healthy. So like, imagine eating mac and cheese and being healthy at the same time. What a concept, yo. That's crazy. You guys might have noticed, I am wearing a chef's coat. Now, why am I wearing a chef's coat? Well, I actually have this from when I accepted an award on behalf of my mom for children's books that she wrote, and it's called Who Me? What Should I Be? It's a series, and this one was for the Look at Me, a Chef I Want to Be, and it's really cute. Like, look how cute they are. What's cool about this book, the chef one, is that there are two recipes included in the book. These two recipes include my favorite childhood recipe. It was spaghetti. Oh my gosh. A peek. You guys don't get to look at the whole thing because you got to get the book. <laughs> and then also my aunt's famous unrum balls because we are all underage here. We cannot drink the rum, yo. But that's okay. And they're so good. They're like chocolate balls. Like, oh. Anyway, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is start making the noodles because they will take five ever. Um, I'm using Barilla. They are vegan. They do not have any eggs or milk or whatever else would not be vegan in the, in the these. So go off Barilla. So we are going, we're making some elbows because I feel like elbows is the most satisfying mac and cheese noodle ever. Say hello to the pot I'm using. Bam! Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Oh. That is heavy. Oh my God. Okay, let's get the water boiling. And I just realized I can't put the noodles in quite yet. So why don't we go shave some veggies, yo. So I these are already pre-washed. Thanks, mom. And um, <laughs> it, you're gonna need a, a one large one potato and a small carrot. Look how small it is. Okay, let's shave them or what's it called? Peel them. We do the carrot. We're gonna cut off the ends first. One. Two, cool, did it. And then we're gonna shave it or peel it, whatever. Y'all know the vibes. It's really satisfying to do this as well. Ooh, ah, ooh. All right, she is peeled. She is peeled. And now we shall do the potato. The end. Yes. Oh, that was, oh, oh, okay, interesting. It's definitely not like Cooking Mama. Okay, our potato is peeled. Yo, check that out, bro. It's a peeled potato. I did that. Now we are going to cut the potato and the carrot into one inch cubes and then we're going to cook them. But first, let's cut. Finish the arduous task of cutting these vegetables. That was really freaking difficult, yo! Now that the water is boiled, we're going to add the elbows pasta to it. Okay, I'm putting it on low heat. I did it! Okay, oh, so satisfying. So beautiful, such noodly noodles in their noodly ways of noodleness. Wow, wow. Okay, eight minutes on the timer, yeah! I'm just gonna move that around. It looks like this one's boiling as well. Yay, so we got in the vegetables. Here we go. Oh, wait, how am I gonna do this? Okay, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. <gasps> no! Mama? Okay, so off camera, my mom helped me put the 
uh, potatoes and the carrots into the boiling water because I am insufficient and cannot do it because I got scared the water jumps at you and I didn't want to get burned. So my mom, she took the risk and she burned herself for me. But it came! So it says 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I did it for 13 minutes and we'll just see how that goes. We might do it for longer, but you never know. All right, we got our cashews here, which is um, half a cup of cashews, and we're going to wait till that water gets a bit hotter, and then we're going, ha, <laughs> that rhymed, hotter, water. Anyway, we're gonna wait till that gets hotter, and then we're gonna put it in here and let them soak for 15 minutes. How are you doing, noodles and vegetables? You guys doing swell? You guys doing good job? I believe in you. You guys, part of the cooking process is to give positive affirmations to your food. So they feel the zen, yo. They feel connected. Let's do some, let's do some yoga. In through your nose, out through your, your mouth. <laughs> Ready, Tai Chi? Now we have this hot watering. Look at this, this is a science speaker. Wow, it's incredible. I worked with science speaker thingies when I was in a bio major, and then um, it was not fun because one time one of our partners, I don't remember who it was, but somebody, one of the lab partners, we broke a beaker, and that was a good time. Oh, actually I broke a beaker once. Probably why I changed my major. <laughs> I'll show you guys my dance TikTok to the sound. I'm excited, oh my god. It's to the song Mr. Saxo Beat. And it's like such an old song. It's such a like a two, two, 20, 2000s era. I could do it better. I did not, I was kind of like robotic. Myself, but check it out the noodles are rinse, uh, drained and then rinsed because rinsing them makes them not sticky and stick to each other and they will stop cooking so rinse your noodles yeah unless you want them to be sticky then I don't judge it's your personal preference oh, I forgot it. Okay, vegetables are done. We're gonna have to give up on that. Okay, guys, look at that. They are done, they're steaming, and I think it's time to blend. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, check it out. Check it out. Ready, ready, and ready! Here we go. Scary. Oh, wait, is it hot? Is the ingredients hot? Yeah. Okay. Big thing with this blender, you put hot ingredients and it, it blows the top off. It explodes all over the place. So they have, the ingredients need to cool down a little. I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> Alright guys, everything is cooled down and it's time to blend it! Yeet! Okay, here we go. I'm going to start by putting in the ca uh, cashews, I think. Yeah, because I feel like everything in the strainers will just need to go in first. Oh. Yes, you feel ready to go. Okay, cashews in. That was quite easy. All right, half a cup of plant-based milk. I'm using almond milk. We love a good almond milk moment. In she goes. All right, vegetable broth. Oh, and this is by Pacific Foods, vegetable broth. Oh, smelly. Oh, smells like vegetables. Oh boy. Here's a tablespoon. We're gonna put four tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Okay, one. Easy. Easy. The smell might be okay. Yeah. Okay, last one. Yay! Have a case of salt. That's good. Yeah, that's good. 
itself in there. Sweet. Okay. A third teaspoon of black pepper. Well, I only have white pepper. So we're gonna just do that. This is half, so I'm gonna do like less than the half that's in here. Okay. Should be it. Yay! One teaspoon of onion powder for the win. Want me to do it? Yeah. Okay, you can turn your camera Okay, off. we're gonna blend this, and that's basically, you just blend it and ask your mom for help if you don't know how to use a blender. So here, currently, my mom is helping me out here, but we are pouring the sauce into the pan, and we're gonna boil it for two to three minutes. It's not very yellow, because I think I didn't use a big enough carrot, but, but it also creamy and it's like cheesy. And more turmeric, and it'll bring out the color. Yeah, so we're gonna taste it first. But look at this, it looks it looks really creamy and yeah, thick. Yeah, it kind of looks good. I'm surprised. Okay, guys, as it's cooking, we've noticed that it's actually turning yellower. Look, can you see the swirls of yellow? As it's cooking, it's kind of getting more yellow. And we added more turmeric, but there's, yes. look at, as I tur turn the it. Turmeric's not picking it up well. Yeah. yeah, well, you'll show them when it's done. Yes, you guys will see. It's ready. Oh, it's looking that yellow. Now it's got the yellow, the vibes. Now you guys can see it. I made a plate it for you. It looks good. It's a bit of smell, but um, yes. Just in case you don't like it, we'll just do a little. How yeah. about that? Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. You guys, I'm so scared because I really want to like this. I'm like scared. Look at that. Beautiful. And we'll mix it too. Just a bit. More? Yes, just one more scoop, I think. Okay, let me get a spoon and we'll mix it all up. So it looks like Ooh. mac and cheese. Ooh, looking good actually. Yeah? That kind of looks good. It does. Looking cheesy. Yeah. Oh my god. It really looks like mac and cheese though. It does. It's funny. The sound. Oh my god, you guys. It looks good. Should I try it? Give it a try. Oh my god. Is it good? Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Wait, how do I take a picture of you? Mm. You guys? Ah, it's so good! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I made the best vegan mac and cheese with the help of my mom. Of course, she's a queen. What? But you guys, I have been searching for five ever to find the best vegan mac and cheese because all of them taste like feet. And no, I don't know what feet taste like. Please don't ask me that. I don't know. Um, you'll have to look that up on your own. But you know what? Like, you know when people have stinky feet? That's usually what the mac and cheeses taste like that are vegan. But this doesn't taste like stinky feet. And it tastes like mac and cheese. Like, so the perfect blend of like potato plus the cashews, um, like the creaminess, is that's what the creaminess is. And then the cheese taste comes from the yeast, but the cheese taste is not so pungent to where you're like, oh, that's feet. So it's like really good. Oh my God. And then the recipe didn't call mm. for turmeric, but we added that mm -hmm. for the color. We added turmeric for color, and I think that made it really good. I'm so proud of you, too. Mm -hmm. For trying some vegan recipes. Thank right? you. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. You guys, you guys have to try this. Like, Ella Vegan, you saved my mac and cheese. You saved my mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, I want to finish this up. So, if you guys like this video, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe and make this mac and cheese because you need to. Um, also, don't forget to ring the bell because then you get notified when I eat mac and cheese. Also, I have merch, so check out the merch down below. Yeah! And also check out my giveaway, which I talked to more about in my last video as well. And I also will link the it all down below. So don't forget about the giveaway because when I reach 100K, you could win. Up. Eyeshadow palette, the Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star conspiracy palette. Ooh. Video shout out time. Oh, we got so many today. My mom said we got so many today. Somebody accused me of taking Carl. What? Cool. Oh, shout out to Pat Cargo. He said, I also love your channel. Thank you. And then shout out to Raina 1997 and Beth Hale and Sophia Ho. Shout out to Whitney Pack. Wow, so many you guys. Okay, two more. Shout out to Mavis Bus Basau and Sadie Goble. Wow, you guys, so many comments. Thank you guys so much for commenting. If you guys want to be in the next video, shout out. Then don't forget to comment down below on this video or any of my other videos. Or you can comment on my Instagram, Shay's Way Official, TikTok, Shanna Scorsese, Twitter, Shay's Way Slays, and Facebook, Shay's Way. Okay, I'm going to go enjoy my mac and cheese now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much again for watching. Okay, bye.